In this video, we'll be going over a distribution curve to try and show how uh, raising the temperature can increase the number of molecules that can cross the uh, activation energy barrier and which le would lead to a faster reaction rate. So uh, if you recall from our, actually in our states of matter unit, when we were trying to show the effect of temperature on vapor pressure. So if you raise the temperature, you could get a, a greater population of molecules to go into the vapor phase because they'll have enough energy to overcome forces that hold it down as a liquid. So let me uh, let me modify this graph a little bit. I'm going to make this one a blue line. And um, show that Okay, at 300 Kelvin, um, what this line right here represents is, as you see here, the activation energy, or Ea. So, and this right here represents the population of molecules that has enough kinetic energy because the temperature is hot enough um, to get into, to uh, actually cross the activation barrier and then go on and go ahead and make product. So as you see on the second graph here, the temperature has increased by 10 Kelvin. And so we'll see that our our population of molecules is more spread out. Um, and what it also does, so since it's more spread out, the average, uh, there's fewer that are actually going the average, but it becomes more spread out. And so because it becomes more spread out, you get um, all the ones from the blue region plus all of these um, that can cross the uh, activation barrier um, and result in a effective collision and result in product forming. Uh, remember that uh, this graph, one little thing I, I want to modify is these are actually populations so it's actually sometimes you'll see these and you'll see actually like bar graphs and each bar that I'm drawing here represents a whole set of molecules going a certain speed okay that have a, a certain kinetic energy so I'm just gonna fill this in with these bars so it's kinda like if you're on the freeway um, there's maybe like the uh, the right lane is all kind of going slow so that would be sort of like these over here um, and then in the middle lane maybe everyone's going the speed limit here maybe a few are not so we get these different bars that aren't going exactly that that fast okay and then we get over to here and then you get the ones, so some cars, so they're all cars, and they're all in the freeway, like just like a gas, they're all the same gas, so they're like, they're all cars, um, but some just happen to be going a lot faster than others, okay, and so it's, so all of these right here, when you increase the temperature, um, all of these, so when the temperature is hotter, Um, then you get more molecules. We'll have enough activation energy to make product. And if you get more in the same amount of time, then that would speed up your rate. And notice the other thing to point out here was when you increase the temperature, it spreads out. the distribution of molecules and this increases the number as just pointed out with sufficient activation energy that's the end of our tutorial and the next one that we'll be doing uh, we'll be looking at some reaction mechanisms again and uh, some energy profiles and, and look at some more examples.